here wants to be happier, healthier, increased energy. Anyone here? Yes, yes, yes. Out there, I know we're we're live here, and we we love helping people stay happy and healthy without drugs and surgery. And what we're going to talk about today, I think, is really important because more now than ever, you see these commercials on TV, right? Whether you're laying in bed at night or throughout the afternoon, and you're seeing all of these commercials. Thank you, Darla. You see all these commercials of people dancing around and then you see all the side effects going and streaming through the bottom. It was really interesting. Dr. Anthony and I were at a seminar this past weekend and we were learning about neurology and the brain and kids and chiropractic and the chancellor of our school, he said, you have to watch this new commercial that just came out. And he had it up on the screen and it's like, oh wow, you know, this medication, take it for asthma, allergies, you know, and it just went on for about five minutes of all the side effects. And then you see the chancellor of our school, he gets into the commercial and he goes, oh crap, but he didn't say the word crap. <laughs> Look at all these side effects. So I think that if, if people really read into it or saw what's going on out there, they would consider a different approach and consider wow, there are other possibilities to help with increasing my happiness rather than taking a happy pill, which, which are, are out there. So our goal is to give you some really easy things that you can do at home to improve that. So I know that all of you know our goals here today because I know that most of you have been to our workshops before. I want you to take one thing away from what we learned today and apply it to your life. If you apply one thing, your life will be better and it will be happier and healthier. So. Dr. Casey and I, when we started working on this and working on increasing energy and happiness, we wanted to figure out what someone needed to do in order to see improvement in those particular areas. So we identified a group of, of things that we need to do in order to improve health. Now, it's really interesting. You know, Dr. Casey and I were just listening to some presentations, and what they had to say was there's a lot of increase in anxiety and depression and people on medications for anxiety and depression what's really interesting i had someone here earlier today and she said you know what i can't wait to get started with care because i know that you guys are going to address things that regular doctors don't address because they just want to put me on more drugs and i want to work on getting healthy so these are some simple things that we can do at home to help our brain and body become more more healthy. Now it's really interesting, some research on sleep, I don't think that we talked about this at our, our last sleep workshop, but something that I want you to consider, research shows for sleep that you need more than seven hours, but you do not need more than eight. And more than eight can have just as a dramatic effect on your body as getting too little sleep. So first, there's some people that they sleep too little, and there's some people that sleep too much. So a good balance is between seven and eight hours. So anything over eight, you can start to accumulate more toxins that your body didn't have an opportunity to get rid of. So how many of this has happened to you before? You fall asleep, you wake up in the morning, and you look over at the clock, or you see what time it is, and you go, I'm just gonna sleep a little bit longer. Yeah. Or two or three hours later you wake up and you're way more tired than you would have been had you got up when you originally saw it. That's the accumulation of those toxins inside your body. So I want you to be aware of sleep and how much you're sleeping. So it's a good idea to be able to monitor that. So Dr. Kaysen, what's another healthy habit for energy? Energy. I know we talk about this often. It's, it's fueling your body for success and really thinking ahead of time of what you're going to eat. I know everyone knows fresh foods are best, increasing your proteins, your healthy vegetables, but I want like to create a thought process for yourself is what are you doing to put the right fuel in your body? What actually are you doing throughout the week to pre prepare for that? Because today I was just at a health fair and I see members walking around, people walking around, they have you know, a, a team meeting, team training, and they have, you know, these little bars which have like chocolates and nuts, but it's like on the go. And all the people I talked to today said, I'm on the go, I don't have time to come here or do this. And they just have a, their bags filled with all these like snacky foods. Those foods can cause inflammation in your body. If you just flip over the ingredients and look, 
if you're looking at, uh, say, a bag of nuts with almonds and walnuts, a lot of times they sneak other chemicals in there that you might not even be aware of. So you might think that you're eating nuts, but you're actually eating other additives and preservatives that could be actually draining your energy. So I want you to think about what are you doing to prepare the food ahead of time so that way when you're on the go, you're not stopping and grabbing these to-go items that yeah. may not be at 100% for your health. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So think about what are you doing to eat balanced foods? What proteins are you filling your brain with? Going back to the sleep, I know Dr. Anthony, you were talking about the seven to eight hours of sleep. I was reading a research article yesterday and they were talking about sleeping helps to clean the brain. It literally is helping to clean your brain. So people who do not get enough sleep, they wake up and they're not at 100%. They don't make wise choices or, or the correct cognitive even choices throughout the day if they're not getting the sleep. And if you're at home and if you have difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep, maybe you're running to the bathroom all night, those could be body signals that there could be some other things going on and I encourage you to schedule an appointment that we can talk about that because you might be lacking a mineral or having too much of something that could be at the root of it also. And you know, the next one, and this is a really, really important one, is it's the right type of healthy fats and oils. You're going to say, Dr. Anthony, what do you mean by that? Well, let's say that we went on a field trip right now and went across the street to Wendy's. So Wendy's is going to be cooking fries or french fries and other things with oils that could be harmful for the body. So they're usually oils that are fried oils are going to be high in omega-6. High in omega-6 causes pain and inflammation and it also combats omega-3 which is really important for your brain. So what's really interesting, your nervous system is composed of fat and you need healthy fats in order to work properly and have more energy. So one of the things that Dr. Case and Dr. Bob and I are always working on with people is a rotation of oils. So you're going to say, what do you mean, Dr. Anthony? So we recommend rotating between flax oil, fish oil, and optimal EFAs. So they're all different types of omega-3, 6, and 9 that your body needs. Now, you're going to say, Dr. Anthony, you're out of fish oil. We are. There might be one bottle up there. I know that Biotics, who does our uh, professional line products, they've been having an issue getting a clean source of fish, so as soon as they do, we'll have it. But until then, I would rotate between Optimal EFA and Flax Oil. And you're gonna say, Dr. Anthony, why do you wanna rotate? Well, your body gets used to the oil that you use, so it's always a good, good idea to rotate between them. On top of that, in your day-to-day -day life, you want to be consuming healthy fats. So what are some examples of healthy fats? Coconut oil, olive oil, butter, walnuts, avocados. I have a question with the coconut oil. I was using that, and then when I went to the doctor, the doctor said my cholesterol was up. So it's really interesting, even with cholesterol, it could be other factors too. So one of the things that I commonly find it depends on if it was LDL, it depends on if it was HDL. So a lot of times, the two biggest factors that we see that impact increasing in cholesterol, especially LDL, is stress and sugar. So okay, stress well, and- those were in my life at that time. So when yeah. someone has stress and sugar, those values tend to go up. And a lot of times, coconut oil alone in the absence of stress and sugar will bring those values down. Thank you. You're very welcome. Did you have a question? No, I didn't. I was just agreeing with her. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Thank but, you. Though. You know, I a lot of times when I'm working on going over food choices with someone, they do not get enough healthy fats and oil in their life. So it's really, really important because there was such a long period of time in American society where fat was bad, don't eat fat. You really need fat. Our body does not do good with either not the right fat or too little fat. So you wanna incorporate fat into your life. An easy way is that avocado. One of my favorite things to do is put some avocado and some Celtic sea salt on there. Super, super good, really good for your brain. But healthy oils will make a big difference for happiness. So a lot of times people 
will say, well, you know what, I just feel depressed or I feel this emotion. We need to be able to get the right ingredients in your body so that you don't end up feeling like that. There is a test. There's a blood test that you can do to check your fatty acids and you can, when we do that test, we send you out for it. But that is a great precursor to determine any kind of cognitive or oil need, especially research shows that people that don't have enough fat or spinal cord, um, fat, healthy fats for the brain and the nervous system, you have an increased rate of developing dementia or other mm. cognitive challenges. So yes. all of you, if you care about your brain, which I know all of you do because you're here and we're working with you chiropractically, I definitely encourage all of you to get this blood, blood test done and we can order it through LabCorp, but it's an essential fatty acid blood spot test to actually measure your oils because you may need more than someone else, which also um, you were sharing young lady in the back here that with the cholesterol, you know, sometimes you need extra oils, exercise, different things that can incorporate, you know, overall function in your body too. Also, number four on your worksheet here, you'll see minimize toxins, environmental stress. This includes organic food, but also think about what you're cleaning with at home. Or uh, white vinegar and water mixed up goes a long way, whether you're cleaning windows, your counters, there are more natural cleaning products out there, but still they could have some ingredients in them that are also known carcinogens. So I have people that even put essential oil in their spray bottles to clean the overall home. Think about the bathroom products. If you're using these scrubs and different things, those are known carcinogens. Ladies and men, think about what you're putting on your body every day. Women put up to 156 chemicals on their body every day which go into the body and they impact your liver. Also this weekend when we were at our seminar, they were talking about microplastics and avoiding plastics. Avoiding plastic water bottles, plastic food containers because the plastics leach into the food or the water and they cause challenges in your nervous system as well as in the brain. So be mindful, getting a good you know, BPA free water bottle, a glass water bottle, Stainless steel is another option, but think about what you're using on a regular basis that could be impacting your brain and also your energy too. Dr. Casey, um, about the vinegar, this Mark's over here. I don't Marks. know if they're going out of business. They got a special ad just for this Mark's. And on vinegar. The street, and it's the vinegar. Thank so, you. I gotta get yeah. Vinegar across the street. We have a shout out for Mark's right across the street here, me, okay? Me it's wow. Mark's. In West, Westlake, yeah. Ohio, if you need a big jug of vinegar yeah. for cleaning. Thank you yes, so much. It's gone. So, you know, it's really interesting. I want to talk, I have a story about happiness in chiropractic. So, I had a gentleman that was referred to our office earlier in the year by someone that we had really helped through chiropractic and nutrition to help with thyroid. And this gentleman had a thyroid issue. So he came in and he was very concerned about his thyroid and he wanted to work on nutrition. He didn't understand how chiropractic fit into the whole picture. So Dr. Bob explained to him, so if the brain isn't communicating properly with the body, it could impact function all the way to your thyroid gland. And he still didn't get it, but he said, you know what, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna give chiropractic a try. So he was doing his evaluation a couple months later just to update his progress and see where we were at it. He goes, you know what? I didn't get it before, but I get it now. And I know that many of you have gotten it and you realize that how your body works is different than it was before you started getting adjusted. And then he looked at me and he goes, you know what? And I'm happier because of it too. And I said, that's very interesting because I have people tell me that all the time as well, is that their happiness level increased as a result of getting chiropractic care. He's like, how is that possible? Well, it's possible because if there's miscommunication with, between the brain and the body and how they're talking, chiropractic's geared towards helping to bring balance to the nervous system. It's really interesting as I have a lot of people and they like to put us in a box. They're gonna say, hey, those guys, they work with headaches, neck pain, and back pain, and low back pain, and that's it. <laughs> well, the most thing that's interesting is we work with the nervous system and the nervous system controls all function in your body. So we want to help to bring balance to the nervous system. By doing that, bodies work on healing themselves. So many of you have seen us work with little babies all the way up to people. My oldest person that I work with right now is 96 years old. She'll be here tomorrow. So it's really interesting. Everybody in between 
It's all about helping the brain and the body talk better. Now, Dr. Kaysen was already talking about number six, mm -hmm. but six is really important. Detoxification. The chemicals that we're exposed to, they cause us to become toxic. So, you know, we've talked a lot of different ways about detoxification through diet, through supplementation. This is a good challenge. Make sure that you're doing exercise that causes you to sweat. So when you sweat, your body releases toxins. So someone that's not sweating isn't a good thing or sweating on a regular basis because it's a way that our body gets rid of toxins. So when Dr. Kaysen and I were in school, I can remember a gentleman that I was working with and we were in cadaver lab and we were dissecting and there's a whole bunch of chemicals in there. And then, you know, we went a couple days later, the same gentleman, we went and we played racquetball. So when he got home from racquetball, his wife goes, so you're just in cadaver lab, huh? And he goes, no, I just got done playing racquetball. So what was going on was his body was getting rid of the chemicals that he absorbed from being by the cadavers when he was sweating playing oh. racquetball. So it's really important that you're doing some type of physical activity that can cause your body to sweat a little bit. You know, for someone that's watching or any of you, if you want to sweat a little bit, just turn the heat up to 90 in your house. That'll get you sweating and, and making sure that your body's burning some of those toxins. So detoxification is super important just based on the environment in which we live. Dr. C, number seven I think is really important. Why don't you talk about that? So I'm here, a strong support system. And this is so important. Your family, your friends, maybe it's your church, your drugless doctor's family here, that community, and I congratulate all of you being here and watching at home because you're getting the right information and you're with people who want to take care of their bodies. And I know Dr. Bob and Dr. Anthony, myself, you know, we, we love everyone and sometimes the most difficult thing to do is when you're sitting knee to knee someone, with someone and you're listening to them talk about all their stresses in their life and you're thinking, have you ever considered maybe getting some new friends? <laughs> Not that you aren't gonna be around or love on the people that you're around, but just think about where do you do life? Who are you with? And research shows that the people you're around, guess what, you actually take on characteristics and traits that they do. And I don't know if this has ever happened to any of you where you're with someone for a period of time and then maybe you go back maybe with your wife or husband and they know that you've been with that person because how you're talking or maybe what you're talking about or what you're focusing on. So I want you to think about who's your support system and what are you thinking? Because negative thoughts and stress, I was just researching this as well as we were in preparation for this. This was very interesting. Stress actually negates every healthy habit that you're doing. Research shows that stress takes away those habits of say you're eating healthy, you're exercising, you're getting chiropractic care. It basically overrides everything, which decreases your immune system, your overall brain function, your energy. So think about things that you can do to better adapt to what you're doing, even considering doing some meditation and just reframing how you're thinking about things or maybe that situation that maybe you know you're gonna go into how can you react differently? Because you're actually wiring your brain a certain way as you think those thoughts. Isn't that interesting? I think it's super interesting. Okay, next one is exercise. You know, oh, it's something that's really important. We talk about it quite a bit. It seems to be a challenge for a lot of people. Doing something, something is always better than nothing. I would encourage you, even though on here it says two to three times a week, I would say if you could do 20 minutes every day of something, that's gonna definitely help you and vary it and rotate it because that's gonna definitely help your body improve. Now, the next one that's on there, challenging your mind. If you, you don't really realize this, but our bodies like to be challenged. So that's why some people do crossword puzzles. That's why some people play games or they play bridge or they take up a new activity. It could be maybe going and doing horseback riding or something that's outside of your comfort level because it challenges your body. Now think about this, have you ever gone on a trip somewhere and on your way there it felt longer or you were more tired going there than when you were coming back? Yes. A lot of times that's because your brain is assimilating all the new information 
So it's like, I have to overwork to adapt all that information, but because you've already been there on the way back, it's a lot easier. That's a part of your brain called the reticular activating system. So it can be overworked. So it's really interesting. You wanna be able to stimulate your mind and do something new. That was one of my favorite things about meeting Dr. Kaysen in chiropractic school. She made me do stuff. So she still makes me do stuff because I would rather like to do what I'm doing, but it's good to do new things. So you want to be able to challenge yourself to be able to do new things. Right there, Dr. C? That is right. So Adventure. What, number 10. What's number 10? 10 proper supplementation. I think this is so important because everyone wants to know what can I take, Dr. Case and Anthony and Dr. Bob, for energy. What can I take? Just tell me what to take to increase energy or I want to wake up refreshed. I don't want to wake up tired. The best way to find that out is to get a blood test, and we do this in our office. It's called an OptiChem, and this includes the thyroid panel, the complete blood count, the complete metabolic panel, your overall cholesterol, your urine test, all of that to actually see and measure the ingredients in your body because your body's different than my body or someone else's. But also I know this month, two things I want to talk to you about because we are transitioning fall and then winter and some people are really sad right now it's all it's also called you know seasonal affective disorder when people start getting sad because it's cold and it's dark outside and they're thinking oh my goodness what am i gonna do so that's why this month in our office we have vitamin d 15 percent off all month long everyone can take two drops of vitamin d which is four thousand international units you can take this every day to be able to boost your immune system, but also to help your overall brain and your body. You can do this until the sun comes out here in Ohio, <laughs> which was gonna be you know, springtime, but also you can have your vitamin D checked. Another thing to see how your body's functioning on the inside with being Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October, we have two different, because we didn't wanna exclude the men, we have a female and a male bio communication scan that we can do in the office. Normally it's $75, we're doing that for $50. Think of this as just an a intake that we do through biocommunication to see hormonally how your body's functioning because that can ultimately impact your energy and your brain function also. Another thing that I wanted to talk, did anybody see the big box in the front of the office when you walked in today? Mm -hmm. So if you remember last year in October, we did a food drive. We've again partnered with the Cleveland Food Bank um, to do a food drive. I think we did about just short of 500 pounds of food last year yeah so I'd love to be able to do that again so I need to go to my house and bring some of the stuff to drop it off but uh, I know that I talked to you about this last year but Cleveland Food Bank is a great spot so we actually went there last year and we got to see the whole operation of what they do and you know when you think of food bank you don't I don't really know what to expect but it really is a food bank people go and drop food off there and they dispense the food to other places so I believe on the box, there's uh, some things that they're really looking for, mm -hmm. but anything that you want to bring in, you can drop off in the box. We'll make sure that it gets to the Cleveland Food Bank. Uh, also, one of the things, the half hour to health in November, I believe November 1st is a Thursday. So we'll be doing the half hour to health on November 7th and 8th in November. It's gonna be on decreasing headaches. So if you know someone that has headaches or you yourself get headaches, this is gonna be a great workshop to attend or watch online. Also, being the month of October, we do quarterly breast thermography in our office. We'll be doing that at the end of the month. So if you yourself or someone you know uh, would like to do a non-invasive approach to breast health, make sure to let the team know. But you guys have been wonderful. What our whole goal and intention is, learn this information, adapt your own lifestyle and your habits, tell other people about it, so that your body could be happier and healthier than it was when we started here today. Do you have anything you'd like to add, Dr. Singh? Sounds good. No, I'm excited, and I thank all of you for being here. And the most important thing is, you know, number one, take that action step away. But I know all of you know one person that could benefit to be happier and healthier, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I encourage you to share this, share the video with them because here we're in Westlake, and we also have our office in Naples. But we want to help make a worldwide difference for people so that way they know that there's other options out there besides drugs and surgery. So we appreciate all of you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You are dismissed.